Hi, today I'm going to show you how to organize your photos and videos. And because it's kind of a long process and it's in two parts, I'm going to make two different video tutorials. In this first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a system of folders. Either you can do it in my pictures and you can do it in my videos, depending, you know, which one you want to organize or if you want to organize both of them. And, and how to move your photos and videos into those folders. And in the second part, uh, which will be a separate tutorial, I'm going to show you how to tag and flag and make captions and describe things, uh, making a search for those photos really easy. And we're going to be using Photo Gallery to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a system of folders. And let me show you how I have mine set up. And you can make your own system, you know, make it so that it's easy for you. This is my pictures. And you can see I have Christmas from past years, Christmas for a friend uh, that I, I do her family picture card every year for her. Then I have photos divided into years, photos divided into subjects. Adobe, if you have any kind of Adobe software, I Photoshop Elements currently on here. It makes its own folder, and because I don't use Adobe to download pictures, uh, my Adobe folders are empty. I download my own. I have Art Creations. I have a program from Microsoft called Auto Collage. I did some prints, old, old prints from like around World War I for a cousin. I have my own downloads, GIF images, my free stock photos that I use. Okay, and so I just, I make a folder for everything. And then I have a whole bunch of things that when I'm working on projects and things, I haven't put into folders yet. A bunch of elements, projects, and etc. And I really, now that I look at it, I should clean those up. Okay. Now, how do you get this system of folders? You can, you can work here. This is called the pane. This big, this is why these are called windows. Here's the window pane, the big area where all the folders show is called the pane. And you can work in the pane, but I prefer to do it this way. If you move over here to the left, you will see Windows Explorer and you will see pictures. Click the triangle to open it and you'll see my pictures, public pictures. And this 15.0 is from, uh, Corel, which we don't have to worry about. You just, right click on my pictures and you get a whole list go all the way down toward the bottom here where it says new and if you hover the cursor you don't have to click you'll see it'll folder a briefcase and just click on folder and then you will notice in the whole list of folders I have it says new folder and the words new folder are in blue have a blue background and you just start typing and I'm just going to call this um, I just call it organize photos and then click enter and it automatically goes into alphabetical order where it should be. Now how do we get photos into organized photos? Okay, I don't, I'm not going to uh, connect my camera via USB. Let me get it out here, but I do have my SD card. If you plug that in shortly autoplay will come up and go all the way to the bottom here general options open folder to view files just click on it there we go I'm gonna to go to my photos I take a lot of photos especially bird photos bear photos wildlife kinds of photos and I'm just going to choose some now you can choose one photo you can choose many photos but how are you gonna when you go over here your folder isn't showing anymore Click on the triangle by pictures, click on the little triangle by my pictures, and then scroll down to our new folder, organized photo. It's right there. Okay. So, and I like to move it up so it's kind of in the middle. And I'm just going to pick some photos that I haven't been through these photos yet. They're all new. Let's say, and there's a movie too. Let's say I want to pick this photo and all you're going to do is click on it and hold the mouse button down and then drag it right over here where see how it turns blue when you get the photo I'm still holding the mouse button down to organize photo 
release the mouse button and it's gone. Okay? It actually gets removed from here. Now let's say this photo I want to just I want to leave it on my card and I just want to make a copy of it. Right click on it, click on copy. Come over here to organize photos, right click, paste. That puts a copy of this photo in my organized photos folder, but it leaves the original photo on my SD card. What if I want two or three photos? I want this one, and then I want that one, and I want this one. Okay, hold down the control key on your keyboard. Click on the next one, click on the next one, click on the next one. And then what happens? Oh, but they're all separate. That's okay. Just pick one. Hold, click on with the left mouse button. Hold that button down. And then drag that one over there to the organized photo. And they all go. Okay. I thought they all go. Mm. Four, yeah. And okay, now since they've already been moved, if you move a photo that's already in the folder, you'll get this. You can either copy and replace it, or don't copy, or copy but keep both files. And uh, I don't need to. And see, there are four photos. Just keep clicking. Okay, what if you have. Uh, let me move up, otherwise I'm going to keep getting that. What if you? I want this photo and I want the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one. They're all in a line. Click on the first photo. Hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Click on the last photo and they all highlight. The whole row, little row there that I want highlights. Click on the first one or the second one, doesn't matter. Drag it to your new Organized Photos folder and put it in. Okay, now how do I have my photos actually arranged? I have my photos mostly arranged, like I said, by project, if I'm doing a special project for someone or just a project for myself. And in general, I organize them by year. And you can see if, if I click and open the 2013 photo folder here. Let me just do like that. You can see it in the pane. I have them by year. Unfortunately, the years do not, don't occur in alphabetical order. So it's April, August, February, January, July, June, March, May. Okay. And sometimes within each month, I have separated out. Here are email photos. Now, I also organize my photos by their name. I, you can see when I name them, I put the date it was taken, 6 13 and when I resize them for email, I'll put a capital E, capital M in front. If I resize them for printing, and of course there aren't any in that one. Let's see, July. Here's two. If I resize them for printing, I put a capital P and a capital R out in front for print. If I edit them, and I don't know if I have any, I don't know where any of these are, but sometimes I'll edit a photo, but I won't resize it for email or for printing, and I'll just put a capital E and a capital D in the front of the name. Okay? And so you develop your own way of doing this that makes sense to you. My way of doing it may not make sense. I can just show you, you know, how to make folders and how to move pictures over into folders, but uh, how you actually do it, eh. So if we go back, let's go back to our, and you'll notice how it moved. When you go back to your, let's say your SD card or your camera, however, whatever you're using to get your pictures into your computer, sometimes it'll move around. So we have to go find our folder again. So I just organize photos. There it is. Now you can do the same thing with my videos. Here's videos right here. You can open it. Right click on my videos and create a folder. If I click on my videos, you can see I have them organized almost the same way. I have them by year, 2002, 2013. And then within that, I have them by month. I have them by project. There's some green screens, whatever. Your composites I use for Movie Maker, and I can also use them in other things. These are my composite files. Okay make explosions and make fun fancy looking things too okay now that's how you create folders 
That's how you move your photos and your videos into those folders. And this is the end of the first part. Uh, in the second part, I'll be showing you how to tag them and, and otherwise make it easier to find them. Because the way it is now, even for me, and good thing I have halfway decent brain, I got to, if I look at all the months here for 2013, I guess I could know. The bear was in the tree when? Actually, this is, I, I edited this picture from a video, and I did it in January 2013, but the bear was in the tree in December of 2012. But how would I know that? What if I get real old and my brain decays? You know, I'm going to forget that. So it's good to tag your photos, too. So in the second part, I'll show you photo gallery and tagging and searching for photos.